Hello there, the internet. Tough Monkey here once again. Hope that you're all well. I'm back with the fourth and final round of the West Europe Stock Car Championship at Sal Brie. This time, we're running the medium configuration. I did this run a couple of nights ago. Uh, I'd set my car up for actually around about 22 degrees, and I was running some pretty good times. I was about 10th off of the world record at that point. And then suddenly the temperature dropped by three degrees. I thought, ah, stuff it. I'm going to leave it at the current setup and see what happens. And this happened. This was my fastest run from a couple of nights ago. I'll play it through without me talking, and then we'll go through it again in slow-mo afterwards. Okay, let's have a look at that flying lap slowed down to 50%. We're going to approach the start finish line, which doesn't actually exist, somewhere in the middle of the track, and then we're going to turn early. I try to get up onto the curb, but not totally over it, because it can unsettle the cart and it can push you out wide onto the grass on the left here. I'm taking a wide line, turning early and cranking the steering over, aiming for that tyre wall, and then swing it out to the right to take a very early line into this left-hander here. Now, I actually get this wrong. I've missed it. In fact, I'm going to spin it back to the first lap because I've probably nailed this better than I've ever gone around this corner before. You want to hook the left wheels over that kerb. And you see how it's kept the cart right on the left-hand side of the circuit and opened up this right-hand corner. You can take that full speed. But because I got it wrong on the second lap, as you can see, I've not quite gone as far wide. And my entry into this right-hander isn't as good. And my line is compromised. Open up the steering as quick as you can to maximise the revs. Otherwise, it does bog down ever so slightly. Keep over to the left-hand side of the circuit. Get two wheels onto the grass as we're approaching this corner, which is a critical, very, very difficult corner. I've experimented with a wide, fast line and a tight, slow line, but sticking it in the middle and keeping a tight line as we exit this bit is critical. If you want to get right over to the right-hand side of the circuit and then turn early, this corner comes at you so quickly. Very easy to run wide. Again, I've experimented with a tight and slow and a fast and wide line, but keeping it in the middle of the track seems to work best for me. And then it's an early turn in here. If you can hook your wheels over this curb again, open the steering wheel up early, get over that curb, don't run too wide, it will slow the cart down. And then an early turn across this curb here, don't go across the grass. And then it's an early turn in here. And in fact, I got that wrong. Let me spin that back. You want an early turn in for this left hander here. But look at this, I turn in and then out again. I realised I was about to hit that tyre wall on the left hand side, so I opened up the steering wheel. Not wasn't the best, but the amount of times you can run wide and hit that tyre wall and hit those cones, and this cone here, I've been bitten by that so many times because the track is so bumpy it throws the cart around. But anyway, that was my fastest run so far through Salbury Medium. Probably wasn't the best second lap. The first lap I think was about as good as I'll ever get it, but there's perhaps one or two tenths left on there. But I don't think I'm going to get much quicker and I'm probably not going to get time to run again before the event ends. So that's probably as good as it's going to get for me. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment and subscribe. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.